Hi guys, today we're going to look at uh, Top Dawn uh, BT200 battery tester. This device allows to test your battery and uh, see uh, the health level of your battery, whether it needs to be replaced or not. Uh, it comes with a 2.4 inch uh, color LCD screen, which we'll show you shortly. And we have a bunch of buttons here. And we also have two clamps, which uh, get connected to the battery terminals. This battery tester works with 12 volt and uh, 24 volt batteries. Uh, uh, here we have some of the types, well, all the types that it supports. Uh, regular flooded batteries, VRLA, gel, AGM and EFB. Uh, besides that, uh, the uh, measuring range is uh, uh, 100 to 2000 CCA or cold cranking amps. And uh, some of the features that it has is, uh, well, it has reverse connection protection, overload uh, voltage protection and lose uh, lead indication. What this means is that if you don't have proper connection with your terminals, then it will uh, give us a warning. This device can perform battery test, cranking test and charging test. Uh, so in case of the battery test, it will uh, display the state of health of the battery. It will show us uh, the voltage current and uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. It will basically tell us uh, whether the battery is healthy or it needs to be replaced. The cranking test will show us the time and the voltage it needs to start the vehicle. And this basically shows us the state of the starting system. And the charging test will uh, test our charging system, including our alternator and uh, the diode. Our current vehicle is seven years old. Uh, the mileage is actually pretty low, only 29,000 kilometers, but the battery has never been replaced in this vehicle. And again, it's seven years old and uh, let's see how it will perform. Locate the terminals and uh, first connect the uh, red one. And this, is, this step is important because you have to establish good connection between the clamps and the terminals, because this way it will provide you uh, the proper information proper reading for the device. So once both terminals are connected, it will automatically turn on. And as I said before, we have three different options. The battery test, cranking test and charging test. I will start with the battery test. Uh, for this, we have actually to know the type of our battery and uh, the CCA. And as you can see here, you can see that CCA is 530 uh, amps and uh, the type of this battery is uh, a flooded battery. Uh, for your vehicle, you will have to uh, find out this information because, again, uh, this is important in order for the device to give you the correct uh, information. Uh, so I will press enter for our battery test and this is where it will ask us about battery type. As I said, this one is regular flooded and we can choose AGM, gel, EFB, but in this case it's regular flooded. I'll press enter. The next thing it will ask is CCA. And CCA is uh, the one that we showed you guys previously, which is 530. And we will use this data. And I currently have it set up in here already, but you can change it by pressing the up and down uh, buttons. So we'll set 530, press enter, and it starts to test our battery. It only takes a few seconds for it to do its job. And uh, this is our result. As you can see, it advises to replace the battery in this case. The health is 60% and uh, 411 CCA. The charge is 100% and voltage is 12.76. And uh, our internal resistance is 7.3 milliohms. And as I said before, rated at 530 CCA. Even though our device advises us to replace uh, the battery, which is actually a good idea, uh, we actually won't do it right now because we still have 411 CCA, which means we can uh, easily start the battery, especially in the warm climate. In the cold climate, this can create problems now. You may not be able to start the vehicle right away. Uh, and again, as I said, we'll keep the battery for now, but what you have to be ready, the health is, will slowly go down and in a few months it could, the CCA will be lower and at some point you won't be able to start this battery. Because of that, 
you have a couple of options whether to keep it and basically be ready for it to die in a certain amount of time or you, uh, you can replace the battery but if you keep it I would also carry the jump starter with you as well just in case uh, the next is a cranking test this will show us the state of our uh, starting system so I'll press enter and now uh, the device will ask us to start the engine and as I said before as you can see vehicle starts even though uh, the health is pretty low the cranking is low and again it uh, confirms the fact that our battery is not uh, healthy enough I will exit from here and now we will perform the charging test press enter and we'll get new instructions uh, now again we have to start the engine and now I will press enter it will do the ripple test And uh, shortly it will ask us to increase the speed to 2500 revolutions per minute and keep it for 5 seconds. Now I will press enter again. And we have our results. And as you can see the charging is normal which means that our charging system including our alternator is working uh, properly uh, loaded voltage is 14.01 un uh, unloaded 14.1 in the manual for this device uh, we'll see a small reference table uh, which shows us the uh, normal charging which falls between 13.2 volts and 15 volts which is the case in our vehicle uh, but you can also see the charging high and charging low if it's over 15 volts it's charging high and uh, if it's under 13.2 it's charging low this can indicate to a problem with the diode in the alternator when you're done simply disconnect the clamps and our device will shut down uh, to sum it up I think it's a very useful device as you can see it's quite compact you can store it in the vehicle in the glove box or anywhere else uh, and of course the best thing about it is uh, that it will help you to estimate the health of your battery and uh, uh, help you to make a decision whether you need to replace the battery or not um, again I'll show you guys the number this one is BT200 top down and uh, if you like it I'll leave you guys a link in the description as well Thank you for watching and uh, we will see you in the next video.